the source of errors in medical laboratory. There are three different types of variable that can be the source of error in the laboratory and are effective in providing the correct answer to the to laboratory clients. Failure to pay attention to this variable can cause pre-analytical errors, analytical errors, and post-analytical errors. Pre-analytical errors uh, this group is responsible for about 60 to 70 percent of laboratory errors and their elimination requires the cooperation of the laboratory, physician, treatment staff, and patient. These variables include the following. A physician should be requested correct, correct and relevant tests. The patient, uh, the patient should be observed necessary condition for testing such as fasting, medita medication, uh, medication and food diet, uh, sampling time, and so on. The laboratory receptionist uh, should be correct in reading and reception the requested tests. Patient identification should be checked. A sample label should be have at least two identification of patients such as name and reception number and abbreviation of laboratory test and be checked to be related to this patient. Uh, the proper Tube should be used for sampling and anticoagulant containing uh, tubes should be shaken gently to prevent uh, clotting and hemolysis. Uh, observance the, period, the points during blood sample, sampling. Selection of a suitable, suitable vein or artery or puncture site, uh, drying of alcohol before needling, use of a suitable string and needle and suction and suction speed to prevent hemolysis. Uh, the tourniquet should be applied approximately 3 to 4 inches about the veni puncture site and uh, no longer than one minute. Uh, analytical errors. These errors, these errors account for about 10 to 15 percent of laboratory errors, and responsible for correcting them are the technical manager and laboratory experts, and include uh, including the following. Uh, inception skills of laboratory personnel, breakdown or laboratory kit, uh, breakdown of laboratory kits and equipment, lack of, of using calibrators and appropriate controls, error in calibration of equipment and diagnostic methods, failure to per perform tests in accordance with kit instructions. And uh, the next section is post-analytical errors. These uh, errors account for about 20 to 30 percent of laboratory errors and occur, uh, occur mainly during the recording and reporting of uh, results and uh, include uh, error during recording test result, error in uh, calculating results, error in uh, recording the reference range of the, of the test, especially when method or kit is uh, changed, uh, incorrect interpretation of results, and a mistake in giving the result of one patient 
to another. Uh, thank you for your watching. Uh, please, uh, please uh, subscribe me from below link uh, for more videos. Uh, have a good time. Bye.